Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a grid in Word and this grid can be any number of columns and rows. I'll also show you how to tone down the border lines if you just want a very faint grid and also how to increase your margins for a greater size of grid and also how to color in the cells. So let's just go up to insert, let's go to table, click on the drop down and here you can select up to 10 columns and 10 rows, but it really depends on what you want for your project. So first of all, I'll just show you how to do two columns and two rows. So once the table is inserted, go up to the top left corner and click on the square, go to table layout, and then here you've got width of your column and it says 7.95. So I'm just gonna highlight that copy it by pressing Command or Control C. Then I'm going to go to Height and I'm going to paste it and press Enter. And as you can see, you now have perfect squares in your document. Now you can see that my cursor is in the top left corner. In order to pull this table down the page, I need to just press Return. And you'll see my cursor is now outside the table. And now I can continue to press that until my table is in the center of my page if that's what you want. So alternatively, if you go to insert, click on the drop down, and you decide you want a lot more cells, but you're not quite sure how many rows you want, just select the number of columns, go back to table layout, once again copy and paste the width into the height, so you create those circles, sorry, you create those squares, and then if you're not sure how many rows you want, just select this one row, make sure you're on table layout and go to insert below. And you can just keep clicking until you've inserted the number of rows that you want in your project or document. If you want more than this, then you just go to insert table, insert table, and then you just simply insert the number of columns you want. So let's go to 15, and I don't mind if we have two rows, and just click OK. Once again, table layout, just select the table, copy and paste in the width again, press Enter, and once again, you can just insert below how many rows you want. Now once you've inserted your grid, you may want to customize it, so the first thing you can do is to just select it. If you want to make these grid lines just a little bit more faint, you can go up to Table Design, go along to this pen color here, and this will select the color of your border lines. You can choose any color you like, but if you choose a light gray, then go to Borders and select All Borders then what it will do is it would just make that grid line a bit more faint if you're using it for a particular kind of project. So if we just go back one step and reintroduce those black border lines, we can also make some color adjustments to these cells. So let's say I wanted all of these cells at the top to be a different color. Just select them and go to table, table design, and then just go to shading. Click on the drop down, select a color of your choice, if you can't find the colour you want, go to More Colours. You can use this colour wheel to move around this little cursor to select your colour. And you can use the Lighten and Darken slider as well. And your colour will appear in this square. And then just click OK. And there you can see you have your colour. Now if I then go along here and then choose that colour again, it will appear down in my Recent Colours. And if I select it, you can now see that this bucket icon has also changed. So now if I do it again, I don't even have to click on this drop down, I just click on the bucket and it will change that color for me. If I want to change the entire table to a different color, I can literally just select it all, click the color and it will change the table for me. If you want your table to be a lot wider across your page, go to layout, go to margins and select narrow. Then go back up to insert, insert your table, and then make your adjustments.
press enter and there you can see that your table now is a lot wider because we've reduced the size of those margins. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.